Hello whiskey enthusiasts. I made a purchase today and decided to do something impromptu uh, and do a quick review of this. Uh, this is something that's just coming out. Um, it's only been hitting stores within the last four to six weeks and here in uh, the Kansas Oklahoma border area it just got here. Uh, this is the Johnny Walker Blenders Batch Wine Cask Blend. Um, they've been doing several of these and um, they did a rye cask finish that I've not had, but a lot of people say is very good. And uh, this wine cask finish is something that I've been wanting to try. Um, and it's $29.99. It's an inexpensive uh, blend, and so I thought I'd give it a shot. Now, before I taste this, let me tell you a little bit about my background concerning Johnny Walker. Um, You'll find some people just absolutely hate Johnny Walker. I don't. Um, I do think red, Johnny Walker red, is horrible. Um, in, in their defense, it was never designed to be drank straight. You were supposed to blend it. You're supposed to mix it with Coke or ginger ale or whatever. So it was never intended to be drank uh, straight. And don't. Trust me, don't. Uh, but I'm a big fan of the green. I think at the price range of $50 to $65, which, which is what I see it, um, it's an excellent, excellent uh, scotch. And I think also that the Platinum 18 year is a very good one. I like the blue, but I do think that it's severely overpriced. And I think legitimately it's about a $140 uh, bottle, but um, you'll almost never find it at that. And around here, it runs anywhere from 200 to 250 and I'm not in this lifetime going to pay that for it. So... Um, the black is a good starter scotch, I guess, and I don't mind it at all. It's a decent blend, but it's not something I'd go out and buy a bottle of. Um, the gold I'm not really impressed with. Um, and uh, so th there, there you have my background on Johnny Walker. I don't absolutely love it. I don't hate it. I always keep green on the shelf. I've got a couple of the Explorers editions uh, on the shelf that I picked up when I was in the Caribbean. And uh, one of those is really good, the Spice Road, and the other one, the Adventurers, is mediocre at best. So let's get to this and see if this $30 uh, limited release blend is worth your time. <clears throat> I smell Basically, I smell acetone mixed with wine. The, the, I don't know what to make of the nose. Um, there is such a chemical smell coming off of it that I'm having a hard time getting to anything else. There is a sweetness that is underlying from the wine cask, but that's mixed with a floral note and this acetone chemical type smell. Yeah. Not enjoyable at all. I hate the nose. Uh, obviously, I just opened this bottle, so it hasn't had enough time to sit, but guys, that's a horrible nose. I, I don't know what to say other than it, it's like chemical flowers. All right, let's... Brace yourselves, I'm going to taste it. <laughs> Guys, that's horrible. Um, it tastes like they took the red, the Johnny Walker red, and they poured a little bit of wine into it, some nondescript cheap wine, and mixed them together. Um, There's so much chemical in this that I'm having a hard time. If 
finding any other notes. There's a little bit of wood, and you can taste the wine finish, but it tastes artificial. Um, it doesn't taste like it was naturally uh, infused into the whiskey in, a, in the way you would normally get. It tastes very artificial, very chemically, and <clears throat> unless I could find a way to put this in a cocktail, I wouldn't serve this to the least favorite person that came to my house. So um, there you have it, guys. As far as I'm concerned, this is horrible. Don't waste your time. Um, i got to find some kind of a cocktail to get rid of this with now. So you guys have a good night.